Hey everybody, it's OTWP. So, um, I think it's been about two years ago. I had a special called Heat or Eat. And what I want to say is I think this is the winter that we're going to see people actually have to choose between heating or eating. We're going to actually have to see people deciding if they can even get their basic necessities. Um, it's not that the food, I don't, I think the food will be available. I think that the pricing is going to be worse than it is right now. We see lots and lots of people right now losing their jobs. And I'm concerned for the elderly, the disabled people on Social Security. Are they going to be able to actually be able to heat and eat? I've actually had people in the chat say, OTWP, I'm only eating one meal a day. I want to say this. I want to say this about prepping on the cheap. Don't be too proud. Don't be too proud to ask for help while you can. We also know that food banks have been getting closed down and food is going to be less and less at the food banks across America. Feeding America is a really good program. Um, it's one of those programs that you can reach out to. The Salvation Army, local churches, food pantries. And um, what I want to say is that, you know, don't be too proud to go and get extra right now. And that's, that's from my heart because... I believe that this fall and this winter, because of the COVID cases and everything that's escalating around the world, including Putin, Putin, Russian, you know, Russia and North Korea raising their ugly heads, that I believe that the United States is going to feel something very drastic going into 2024. I'm not going to call a date. I don't do that. What I do know is that we see what's going on around the world. We see fires breaking out. We see hurricanes, catastrophic weather events or man-made. And I think that it's very important that we also realize there's a lot of modified bugs out here. Shit. I just had mosquitoes on my head. Anyway, y'all, um, I want you to really bunker down, hunker down. Think of the things that you need, not that you want. Because I've realized that as long as I've been prepping, that we're missing things. We're missing important things. And how long can you go without going to the grocery store when the grocery stores close? How long can you go without electricity when the grid goes down? See, these are things that we have to run scenarios for each of our situations and decide where we're at. And our journey here, you know, on in this cabin here in the Ozarks is different from the journey you're on. See, I'm already in my bug out location. And that's why I'm very careful to make sure that no street signs, license plates, or anything else is in any of my videos because there's some creepers out there. And we all know about the creepers and we all know the things they do. What I want to say is that put your boots on the ground. Think about the things you need. Not that you want. You might want a pizza. You might want to go and get a movie at Redbox, right? You might want a new shirt, but what do you need? What do you need for the long haul? First and foremost, you need skills. But I'll say this, you're going to need some first aid. And you're going to need lots and lots of the ammo. <laughs> lots of ammo. If I can say anything, get your ammo and get it now. Protect yourselves. Because when it all boils down, it don't matter if you're rural. It doesn't matter if you're in an urban setting. They're coming to your door. If it isn't the looters and the predators and the lone wolves, it'll be the three letters that comes to your door. So get on point. Think about your layers of protection. Think about the things that you can do now before it's too late. Fill in your gaps. God bless. This is OTWP. I'll see you tomorrow morning for coffee and news. Live stream. God bless you from here in the Ozarks to wherever you're at. Do the dang thing, OTWP mag. And I'm not saying that lightly. Do it full throttle. God bless you all. Until I see you again. Big, huge, proper hugs.